Hi guys, um, I just wanted to go over with you guys. Um, we have a Magic Chef wine cooler. Um, we've had it for a few years now. It has quit cooling. The fan still works, uh, the lights still come on, but um, it's not cooling. So we've actually just been using it for storage. Um, and then I looked the other day to get them replaced and they're anywhere from, you know, four to $800. So I looked on some local swaps, um, trying to figure out if I could find one to purchase for the space. We're really happy with the Magic Chef. We like the way that it looks. So I actually went onto YouTube and I thought, what would be the chances that I could find a video that will show me how to fix my Magic Chef wine cooling refrigerator? And I did. I found a video. What we did was watched a few videos and it sounds like it's a pretty common thing. And there's a little part in the back that you just gotta pull the cooler out um, and replace two parts. We went online, ordered the two parts. I believe we spent $20. Where we ordered the parts from will be in the link below, so you can click on that if you have a Magic Chef uh, wine cooler and you need to get the pieces because that was one thing I did have a hard time finding a website to order the parts from. We're gonna give it a go here. We're gonna pull the cooler back out. We'll show you the back here and um, show you the two pieces that we bought and get them installed and fingers crossed, this is gonna work. All right guys, so this is the model number of the Magic Chef refrigerator that we have. When we looked up the parts um, actually for the model, uh, the numbers did not match, but the replacement parts um, we will put in the link below. All right guys, so first you wanna make sure that the refrigerator is unplugged before you get started. And also if you don't feel comfortable doing anything um, with electricity or uh, undoing parts or anything, it's best idea to call an electrician. What I did was watch enough videos that I feel confident that I'm going to be able to do this by myself. So here we go. Uh, we're going to unscrew the back. All right. So you'll get your back off. There's a little thing right here to put your screws in so you don't lose them. Um, hopefully this isn't too dark. Every Light guy. All right guys, so this is the back of the um, refrigerator. This is the compressor. This little part over here apparently um, is where a lot, a lot of problems are at with when your refrigerator is not cooling. So what, what you do is you take the cover off. Again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, make sure you call an electrician. But remember, the refrigerator is unplugged and all the videos I watch, this looks so easy. So if I can do it, I'm pretty sure anybody can. You just gotta, so you just gotta push down a little bit in the top and middle. All right, so you just gotta push down a little bit in the top and middle there. Cover will come on. Then you have here um, this black piece. All right, so I don't know the exact terminology for all these parts, but like I said, I watched the video quite a few times. Um, so this part here looks like you have to unplug that. Just comes unplugged. Then there's the white part that you just have to unplug. I'm trying to do this one-handed so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I got that unplugged. All right, so now to get this unhooked, what you're gonna do is squeeze the green part top to bottom. So then you get this little part is the part that you're gonna want to uh, replace. Also, you need to get this other black part off and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna squeeze. And then this is the other part that needs to be replaced, okay? The model numbers are here. Um, we could not find this model number, but in my research, I found the top number was the same, but the bottom number is different, but the replacement said it will, it's just a new number for this part, basically. All right, so we ordered both of the new parts from Amazon and it took three days for them to get here. So now um, we're going to install them and See how that goes. All right guys, so the black part 
is called a refrigerator starter relay. And then um, these are the new numbers for the replacement part. Half one's the new one. This is the old one. And then this part is called the refrigerator overload C, I guess. So now I gotta try to put this back together. Um, I am first going to, so what I'm gonna do is put that back in there. Okay. So now that I got them hooked up, I'm going to... All right, so now there's a silver circle thing here and you put it over top of this silver circle thing. And push it on. Then you need to take the other green part, hook it up to the other black part, and, and then hook it to the compressor. So now that I got it all reconnected, make sure everything's plugged in good here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in before I put everything back together here. Um, Cause hopefully if it doesn't work, I can send the parts back to Amazon. All right, so I got her plugged in. Oh, I hear the compressor. It says when you put your hand on it, you should feel it vibrate. It's vibrating. Oh my God, I think it worked. I'm so excited. All right guys, so prior to fixing the refrigerator, the numbers were st like stuck. Um, they didn't get cooler. I can already tell by the way that the refrigerator sounds that it's, it's going to work. And I'm super pumped because this exact refrigerator, I believe was $600, like 650, uh, brand new. So boom, just like that, it's fixed for $20 and YouTube. Prior to this, they both stayed at 70. I can already feel it getting colder. So I got the refrigerator pushed back in, plugged in, and you can see that the temperature is going down. I'm so excited that I decided to try to fix this myself and that I was successful in it. I feel so accomplished by doing this. Plus we saved a ton of money. So, and now I can get back to drinking cold wine. So if you have a Magic Chef refrigerator and, you're cool, and it doesn't seem to be cooling your um, wine down or whatever product you put in there, I would definitely try fixing it yourself first. Um, we'll put the, the products in the link below. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment below and I will get back with you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, super excited, thanks for watching.